What's going on, gays and guys? <laughs> What's going on, everyone? It's me, Neon Amy. Welcome back to another installment of me putting on makeup that you guys will hopefully enjoy. The season of love and love and capitalism and love is in the air. In the past, I have done a few different Valentine's Day tutorials. I've done an anti-Valentine's Day tutorial. I've done a regular one. I've done some very off the wall ones, if you will. And so today I figured, well, why don't we just give a classic Valentine's Day tutorial, but a little bit of a spin. So today I'm gonna to be doing a Valentine's Day tutorial that will help you get a sugar daddy because that's what we need in 2024, more sugar daddies, period. But that's the point. We're going to help you get a sugar daddy because I want one and nowhere to be found. Hello, if it's your first time watching, hi, my name is Darius. I'm a makeup content creator. And um, if you are enjoying this kind of content at any point, then go ahead and like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, do all the things that YouTube still wants you to do. But yes, yeah, support and join me as we get into this super fierce, super stunning Gorgiana. Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. Let's get into it. Gagatandra. As I said, the theme of this tutorial is very stunning. So um, just think, what are some things that you want your sugar daddy to eventually get you or be impressed by you by? So that's the vibe. Everything's gonna be luxe. We want to make a good first impression and we're putting out manifestations of good energy and big pockets. So first I'm gonna start by priming. This is the Lancome Priming Serum Primer. Serum Primer. Um, I just want a very smooth base because as a sugar baby, you don't want your man to ever think my babes is looking very crusty and crunchy in the face. So your face needs to be primed to heaven and earth. I mean, of course, this is like super luxe and like obviously this is very much the same aesthetic as Elf Putty Primer, but your man don't need to know that. Your man can buy you Lancome's Priming Serum. Actually, yes, let me, let me make a correction. This is how to get a sugar daddy, sugar mama, sugar parent how to bag a sugar parent in five days so once the face is smooth and blended and blurred you still want to you know give the youth and radiance that sugar parents definitely want <clears throat> and although you know i can speak to the universe that i want the charlotte tilbury um glow serum thing i don't have it so is that we're going with the elf halo glow liquid filter i've had this product for months and i still don't know how to use it do i use it like a foundation do i use it as a highlighter now for actual foundation i do want to be a very luxe luxurious baddie this is the all hours foundation from ysl again putting out luxury energy so that way we can get luxury as things now i'm taking this foundation in the shade dn7 Also, I don't know if anyone's noticed. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Well, considering I haven't put content out, no one has noticed. But I have become very spoiled by Luxury Beauty. I don't know why. And again, Luxury Beauty still has a long way to go. I find myself wearing more YSL or Dior. And so what you have now is a foundation that's gonna dry down matte, but still has a lovely glow thanks to that Elf Halo glow. We need to keep Daddy Big Bucks happy. So the <laughs> Although perfection is a disease of a nation, and you know, dark circles are fine. We also want to present our best selves. So I'm just gonna go in with the Sigma Spectrum Color Correcting Duo. This is in the shade Dark to Deep. I'm just gonna go in and use that to brighten up and color correct a little under the eye. So now that under eye is brightened and we don't have a single dark circle from where we've cried over not being able to pay the bills, we're gonna go in with our All Hours Precise Angle Concealer. Let that sit for a little bit before we blend it out. Let me blend this out because I know this concealer dries a little bit faster than I would like. Now to look snatched so that your sugar parent thinks that you haven't been eating and then you can get lavish dinners and things like that. I don't. Too much. This is the Elf Halo Glow Beauty Wand Contour. We're gonna use that. Let's go ahead and set all of that. I'm gonna be using the one size powders. I'm using the shades Dark Deep and Ultra Pink. 
because we're going to be doing some paint makeup today. All right, let's do the brows. We're going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Cheap Brow Pencil. Just going to go on with this Lottie Mega Brow Brow Gel just to hold it in place. Because here's the thing, if you always look like you got attitude, then I don't know. Just going in and cleaning up under the brow. If they see how good your brows look, they're gonna be like, oh my gosh, you know, your brows look great. I just want your brows to always look that good and they will pay for you to get your brows started. See, I, big brow. Let me go ahead and bronze with the Minted Cosmetics Bronzer in Yacht Life. Okay, so let's create this super sexy eye. I'm gonna start by using the City Colors Canvas Base in the shade Lady Light, which is a soft pink pastel. We were going to apply that close to the lash line. We're going to do something super sleek and slim in the eye. We'll start by using the Sigma Spicy Eyeshadow Palette, which you can use my code Neon Emue to save some money at checkout. See, you chicken that give you some money, you give me some because I helped you to bag them. That part. Bitch, I'm single. That part. Go find you a man. That part. Go find you a woman. That part. We're going to take the shade Chili's. I'm going to apply that on the outer third of the eye, keeping it tight and low as close to the lash line as possible. Next, I'm going to go into this Natasha Denona Mini Love Palette, which you can also use my code Neon Nimue to save a checkout. I bet you didn't know I had a code at Natasha Denona, did you? But I'm just going to take this paler pinky shade and we're going to apply that on the middle of the eye. Again, keeping it as close as the lash line as possible. I'm also going to take this deeper berry shade here. I'm going to apply that in the very outer third of the eye right here in this pocket to help build up some intensity in the outer third and then we're going to blend it out going back into that spicy palette i'm going to take this lighter shade here called trust trist Tr Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take that and use it as a buffer into the transition. Translation, I'm just using that as a transition shade. I'm going to switch to the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Palette. And I'm going to take this pink shimmer metallic here. I'm going to take this on a fluffier brush and stamp this over the eyelid where we put that pink shadow earlier. From the Mini Crush Palette, I'm taking this light pale shade, applying that in the inner third of the eye as a highlight. And then from the Mini Love Palette, there is this pale white shimmer right here. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on top of that white. On the bottom lash line, I'm taking this dark plum color from the Mini Love Palette. And I am just applying it in the outer third on the bottom lash line, bringing it in slightly and dragging it up into that angle shade. And then go back into the spicy palette and taking that chili shade again and just dragging that through the middle. I'm not necessarily going to put it in the outer third or the inner third though. Just dragging it into the middle. So we're going to take the Huda Beauty Creamy Coal Liner. I'm going to apply that on the middle and outer third of the waterline. And then I'm going to take from Urban Decay the 24-7 Glide On Pencil in the shade Woodstock. And I'm going to put that in the inner third of the eye. We're going to go and put on some mascara. This is the Fenty Beauty Hella Thick Mascara. I am in the era of not wearing lashes. And I think with like such a streamlined look like this, it's not necessary. Coat the entire lash line, but then focus more product on the outer third. 
Ooh, it's a serve. It is a serve. It's a serve. It's a serve. It's a serve. We're going to take the new cheat clapper three. We're going to take the new cheat clapper. Cl We're going to take the new cheat clapper blush from one size. This is in the shades girly pop. So this is essentially that light pink blush that one size released earlier that everyone's obsessed with, but for deeper complexions, which I'm excited about. We're gonna first start with this cream blush shade. Tap that lightly on the upper of the cheeks. My God, my God, my God. I know a lot of people like love the blushes by Patrick and one size, and I do too. I just don't think we give enough credit to the cream part of these blushes because the cream is beautiful. It does not disturb foundation and it dries down to like a powder finish. So I love it. We're gonna take the highlighter shade in this palette, which is called Love Me. So fitting. I wanna highlight and we need this highlight to be blinding because we need your sugar daddy or sugar mama to be so blinded by your highlight that they don't care how much money they spend on you. Now we're gonna take the actual powder from this palette, which is in the shade Pick Me. Pigment, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Across the nose as well, because if you are constantly look like you're blushing, then you know, your sugar parent is gonna be like, oh my gosh, Bray loves me, here, more money. Go is to be so stunning that they just lose focus and train of thought. Setting the face with the one size preserve, the serve luminous setting spray. Start with the lips, we're gonna take the MAC lip liner in the shade Chestnut, and I'm just going to line the top of the cubist bow. And at the bottom of the lip. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Cream in the shade of Bubble Binge. And just taking a little bit of the Gloss Bomb in Pretty Please for a little bit of sparkle. All right, we're back with the final look and this look will ensure that you get a sugar daddy or sugar mama or sugar parent, regardless on Valentine's Day weekend or Valentine's Day in general. The moment they see you looking like this, it's a wrap, it's a wrap. For a full list of products every day will be listed down in the description box below. And if you love this kind of content and want to see more of it, then go ahead and like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload. And um, until next time, I hope you all have a great Valentine's Day. Make his pockets hurt. Period. Take it.